Hello, and welcome to Authenticraft. My name's Flazzity, and this is episode 9. Previously on Authenticraft. Come on. <laughs> Worst Minecraft player ever. Right, this obviously isn't working. Time for plan B. Hello creeper. I'm here. I can hit them. Like this. There he is. Today, my hope is to start constructing what will become the Guardian Farm. It's a really big project. I don't think I'm going to manage to do it in one episode. Maybe two, maybe three. It all depends how often I can get on to how quickly I can do this. I'm going to need some more invisibility potion. Luckily, we've still got some left from last time. But what we're going to try and do is start the process of draining that of water. Without the water, the little guardians can't spawn, which makes the whole thing a lot easier. And then we've got to take it down to just the floor. We'll end up with a great big square with no water, and just the floor of that. That's what I'm hoping to do in this episode at least anyway. So without further ado, Let's get cracking. I've got myself some netherrack and I'm going to build a ring around the perimeter of the ocean monument. The reason for this is so then I can use it as a base to drop sand so we can start to drain the water from the temple. So let's get this first bit done, eh? That's the ring put around it now. That's the entire perimeter of the ocean monument. And now what I have to do is fill in all those sides there with sand. And additionally, what we do is because sand's a gravity block, is we'd go to the edge of the ring on the inside and we'd place it and it falls down. And we do that all the way around but it takes a long time and I want to do this as quick as I can so I'm going to use a little bit of redstone to begin with we need a bow then we need to turn that bow into a dispenser and we're going to need a repeater a redstone torch and some redstone and one piston and now with these clever little redstone things I can make putting sand down a little bit faster than doing it by hand let me show you what I mean. Let's put the dispenser here. A little dot of redstone. A piston. 
a repeater there and a redstone torch to power the repeater. Let's fill this with some sand. Now this is going to make things a lot simpler. I'm going to put a sand block here. By putting the sand block here, this repeater will power the block, which in turn will power the redstone, which will then power the dispenser. And because the dispenser is powered, it'll power the piston. And then when the block's moved by the piston, that won't be powered. It'll stop that from dispensing and that will retract. But because I'm stood here and I'm going to put another block down, it'll push it and it'll all just go really, really quick. Let's give it a whirl. There you go. That's how quick. Quicker than this old boy can put them down anyway. That's the plan. I'm going to build this one, two, three, four, five redstone device on the edge and just get it to shoot the sand. Hmm. Probably better go get them. I honestly don't think I'm going to manage to do this with one invisibility potion. But I can at least get started. See if the idea works. And if it does, make some more potions. So for now, here it goes. Now, that was going swimmingly until the invisibility potion ran out. Then it was just death after death after death. So, I'm going to need lots of invisibility potions to do this. And that means building a couple more farms. The first one I'm going to build is really simple there's going to be no redstone involved at all and it's going to be rather aesthetic we need uh, to get the resources before we start doing a talky bit we need nether wart and some soul sand now we just need to take this out a bit and replace it with soul sand And the same here. And then just place it on. There we go. Oh, it's already started growing. Good. And now onto the next farm. Now again. As this is a farm to grow ingredients that I need for potions, I'm going to do it near the Enchanter's house. Just so it's in keeping, it's close by for if I need it for brewing any other potions that I might need later. Uh, you know, it, it, it's just in keeping with the building, I think. It's nothing posh, it's no redstone, it's just a simple bit of carrot in dirt, I guess. Uh, I'm going to raise the terrain so that it's a decent sized plot but try and keep the terrain in, in keeping with what's already here make it try and look natural I'm not the best at terraforming um, but yeah let's let's just drop one here for now and that's the carrot farm started so the main ingredients as I've gone through before for invisibility potion is some nether wart golden carrot and a fermented spider eye now we do have the creeper farm that I made last episode I could take out the carpets and that would generate spiders but I just don't know how I could kill them easily without them escaping hmm hmm
There might be a way that I can build it and not get killed too much. That'd make life even easier. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to try something. It's drastic, but it might work. And save me having to build a huge, massive mob farm in the sky. Because let's face it, they're pretty ugly. The drastic thing that um, I decided to do was build a wall around the perimeter, uh, blocking the view of the guardians as I could just carry on with the sand. The problem was that I quickly found out that the guardians just go to the other side anyway and see me and, and shoot me, so it was a waste of time. And I thought, do you know what? Just, just go for it. What's the worst that can happen? I'll die a couple of times, but because my bed is only across the water, I, I can quickly get back, get my stuff, and quickly carry on. So that's what I decided to do. Now I had to dodge them a few times. There was a few deaths along the way, but you know, it worked out. It, it got done. The time lapse isn't the best, and I do apologise for that. The replay mod that I was using to record it. It's a fantastic mod, it really is. Um, I got it similar to the first time lapse. The camera panning around, uh, taking in some interesting angles just to make it look a bit more interesting as the sand gets dropped. The problem was that when I was doing longer renders, it just kept crashing and it would crash randomly. Uh, you know, as soon as I started it, it'd crash, and I thought, oh, okay then. Um, try and tweak a couple of things, and it, it seemed to render for an hour or two, and and then crash. And it was just taking ages. I couldn't figure out what the problem was. I took Optifine out because that had helped when I'd done the Guardian. Um, sorry, the Ender Dragon fight. Um, and I, I just thought. Maybe it was it was too complicated what I was trying to do, so I I just thought put it in the middle, do a bog standard, um, one camera view time lapse, something you could do with a second account just to get this done and out of the way. Um, I thought it might look quite satisfying, you know, to seeing the the walls emerge with the sand using this technique. It it hasn't really turned out that way. Um, maybe because I was hoping for more and was unable to do it. Uh, but even putting the camera here, it was still crashing on render and I couldn't work out why. In the end, it turned out it was a known bug and they'd fixed it with a new update, which I hadn't realised had dropped. By the time I realised it was getting on and I thought, it is what it is, I'm not going to try and do all the camera moves again it, it it takes a while you know I, I'm new to it so yeah, everything's slower when you're new to it something so I just I just stuck with this um, I've sped it up quite a bit so it's over quickly and um, one thing that did come to light was I really underestimated the amount of sand I needed I need more than do um, more than two double chests worth of sand this took up all that sand I'd collected. So it looks like we're gonna head back over to the desert and collect some more. What I could really do with though is some shulker boxes. That would make things so much easier. It's just a shame that I died when we went to go end busting. Uh, maybe I'll do it again someday. I've just had a message off of Spudstack that uh He's got a little something for me. It's actually 2.30 a.m. and I should really be going to bed. But I do like a present. Oh, here he is. Hello, Mr. Spud. Oh, 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 
me likey. For me? Okay. <gasps> no. Wow. Really? Oh, look at that. Pickaxe pack. Some dragon rare diamonds. Armor. Shulker shells. Oh, oh mate. <laughs> oh, call of instant health. Oh, man. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, yes, much better. <laughs> oh, thanks, bud. Skin change then, yeah? Whoops. Where's it gone? Cheers for the prezi. Don't forget to give the new beard a thumbs up. Oh. <laughs> I love the glasses. <laughs> well, that was really good of Spud. You've got to love a community. Well, it's the first one I've been in anyway. Seems okay. <laughs> yeah, that's really nice of him to bring some stuff over. Um, nice sword. Nice pickaxe. But these are what I'm interested in. I want me some shulker. Because... I'm going to go and get some more sand and instead of boating coming back boating coming back with all these shulkers I could just be out there for hours so let's make some up now to make a shulker box we need a chest and we need some shulker shells that's really hard to say shulker shells that side and some shulker shells that side and that will give us a shulker box. So now we've got four. Now the great thing about a shulker box, as we can see using this one, is you can fill it up with what is essentially an inventory full of stuff. And then that inventory full of stuff just fits there. So all this could essentially be filled with an inventory's worth of stuff. Now, I'm not very good at maths, but to me, that sounds like a um, lot of stuff. So if we put this in perspective, this here is the equivalent of two inventories worth of space. I had to boat out there and come back several times to fill this. And that's the same size as two of them, which you could just take with me. So this here is two double chests worth. And I'm going to need some more sand if I'm going to drain that. So I better get to it.
have some more sand collected. I hope it's enough. And having these shulker boxes was brilliant. I didn't come back once. Well, obviously once to get here to record this bit. Anyway, um, yeah, and this shovel, although nearly dead now, really needs to sort out getting some mending somehow. Is uh, nearly dead, but it did a brilliant job, and it was done really quick as well, a lot quicker. I mean, less travel makes it quicker. So now, back over to there to put some more sand in. Maybe I should just call this episode sand but thanks to spud and delivering all this in a shulker box that was red i've decided to make myself a little redstone box keep all my redstone in there you know could work out also with having the shulker boxes i don't need to come back here all the time just do it all over there apart from when i inevitably die I'll be over here then. Hmm. I hope you've enjoyed the time lapses in this episode. I know, they've been a bit heavy, but I've got a new toy, so I'm gonna play. Shoot me. We have accomplished a lot though, to be fair. Look at it. It looks really good, I think. Ah, oh, do you know what I've just noticed? That one's slightly bigger than the rest. Oh, that's gonna do my head in and make things a bit awkward. Oh well, I'm not going to rip it out and start again now. I knew we wouldn't be able to drain it this episode. I've run out of sand, again. I've got to go and do some more of that. And I'm going to see if I can finish it off between episodes. And then next episode, I can show you how I'm going to get rid of all the water. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you have. And what do you think about the time lapses? Was it too many? Not enough? Too much of me talking and you'd rather just funky music that I find for free and lots of time lapses. I don't know. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Only you can tell me. Please tell me. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Until the next one, bye.